This evening we're uh, making final preparations for the move of two of our super grid transformers. This is the first one, uh, the second one moves on Sunday night. It's a mammoth task, we've got 12 guys on the job here, we've got five police officers, there's probably 25, 30 people involved just on the operation tonight. Well, we're utilising uh, what's called a girder frame trailer here. And the purpose of that is to distribute the weight of this transformer. Uh, the transformer is around about 180 tonnes. This large trailer comes at a weight all in all, it's approximately 500 tonnes. That's a very significant weight to carry over a number of roads and bridges that we're transiting on. They've got their own specific task, but they are working as a team. So the guy in the front basically is, is, is pulling the unit, uh, but he will be deciding the line the vehicle will take into a corner. So he's been briefed uh, previously and he's driven the route, uh, so he knows basically what line he's going to take. But of course then we have two trailers and each is steered independently. And then we have a trailer supervisor who will be in radio contact with the two trailer men. Obviously when they're at the front they can't see what the back end is doing and he's monitoring the whole operation. We're having to go for a night move because of the size and weight of these uh, equipments which are necessitating some road closures and as you can see a significantly large road convoy including a police escort as well. So to minimise as much as possible the impact on other road users. We're moving overnight uh, between 11pm tonight, Wednesday, and hopefully arriving at site by 5am tomorrow, Thursday morning. We've been informed by the road authority that the weight of our vehicle loaded with the transformer is too heavy to cross. Uh, it's a combination of the total weight and the axle weights uh, of the vehicle combination. To avoid uh, any danger going over the bridge and damaging it or potentially collapsing it, we come off the junction, circumnavigate the roundabout and rejoin the A55 uh, at the same junction basically to avoid uh, any risk of going over the bridge and causing a problem. So it, it's been a, a mammoth task, probably a lot bigger than we expected initially. Um, but uh, when you're moving something this size, you don't expect it to be easy. 